All right. Thank you so much for stopping by. So let's get right to your reading. We're starting off with the Knight of Swords. So this reading is very interesting and it might not resonate with a lot of people. Um, right away, the Knight of Swords is telling me there's some kind of action being taken here. Maybe some speedy action, something a little bit ambi ambitious. Um, with the Seven of Wands accompanying it, it's almost like you're you're persevering towards something, trying to maintain your control and your balance, but it's like you're going towards something at a fast pace. Now, to me, this can also symbolize that there was some kind of drama happening in your life and you're still like you're you're trying to maintain the balance. So take whichever resonates with your life right now. We have the world card here. So the world card, sometimes it can talk about coming into harmony, but sometimes it can talk to it can talk about an ending. So something that ends, but it brings a new beginning. OK, we do have the ten of pentacles here with the five of pentacles. So maybe for some of you and I know this is hard to say sometimes because I don't like being the the bearer of bad news or whatever but if this does resonate with you I just want to apologize ahead of time but this does seem like maybe something that has broken maybe a marriage um a long-term commitment alarm a long-term uh, relationship but also it can be your job your long-term job something that you were at where you were at for a long time so take that as it resonates because these two cards clarifying this is definitely telling me that something's ending but there's a new beginning coming there's happiness coming um the world card being next to the four of wands to me yes it can symbolize the ending of a marriage like i said before but this four of wands can also symbolize the fact that there's something better coming along for you something that's going to bring you happiness if you're single maybe this is someone that's coming into your life all right but with the two of wands here it's like you're planning you're ma you're making plans um for your future you're you're seeing what's out there you're really focusing on what's going to make you happy what's going to bring you that happiness very beautiful and then we have the ace of cups so with the ace of cups i definitely feel again if you're single this is definitely a new relationship coming into your life with the ace of cups here um i also feel like for those of you that you've just gone through something that broke whether it be your job or your 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 relationship whatever the case was for you this tells me that you're focusing on your self-love right now and giving yourself a lot of love and 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 just taking on a new direction because with the chariot here it tells me you're just going in a new direction now because you know before uh, this happened you were probably in a place where you were a little unsure maybe for some of you so now you're just going in a new direction and trying to see what else is out there what what is going on with my life right um i feel though uh i feel like this reading is going really fast uh i'm at i'm at like four minutes uh but anyway again like i said with the chariot here you're going in a new direction um possibly just giving yourself a lot of love i will say though uh cancer take some time for yourself i know that this time during this uh during last year was really hard right and now going into this new year it's still overwhelming and so i feel like for a lot of you take the time to give yourself a lot of love um maybe uh get some sound healing some some energy healing or some kind of work like that because i feel like that's really going to benefit you and put you in a better place mentally we have the five of pentacles here so again the five of pentacles is showing up um i feel this is like just the the residual of whatever happened before um the five of pentacles can be like you know when you don't have enough money uh maybe some insecurities here it could be you know feeling left out in the cold so however this resonates with you it's being topped off by the five of chalices which is also about loss and grief so you could be grieving this still you know even though you're giving yourself a lot of love and trying to go in a new direction you're still grieving something or maybe you're just going through some kind of financial um uh some some financial hardships and it's expected you know in this time of day it's it's so hard and i'm so sorry if you're truly going through this uh with the ten of swords here though i feel like this is coming to an end i feel the ten of swords can mean like 
maybe somebody backstabbed you, somebody did you wrong, and that's why you're feeling this way. And But to me, this is also symbolizing the fact that this Ten of Swords is basically telling us, okay, this is all coming to an end. Whatever happened is coming to an end. It's it's just a bump in the road and you're going to be fine, okay? Because we have the Eight of Wands here, so things are starting to move quickly. After all this happens, things are moving quicker because this is about quick decisions and quick movement, right? But it's forward. It's movement forward. You see these wands, they're shooting forward. So I feel like you're you're following what's, what you're passionate about, I feel. I feel like you're just going for whatever it is. There's also a lot of communication here, so I feel like you're communicating and really opening up opening up about what happened to you, opening up about, you know, it's almost like it's almost like once you release those things that are that are inside of you and and talk about it, I feel like it opens doors for you because we have the wheel here. So it's like these karmic cycles, they shift, they end and they and they uh make way for something new. So the wheel of fortune is telling me there's good luck coming your way, but you have to open up, you have to talk about it, you have to say what you need to say because these are the things that are really going to uh help you manifest something really wonderful here. Um we have the hanged man. So again, feeling stuck, feeling a little stuck, but also because this was, I, I feel like this has a lot to do with, uh, being here. It's almost like, um, it's like you're, you're finally getting to a point where you're starting to see the light, you know? And I feel like talking about it, like I said earlier, with the communication, it opens up something for you. It's almost like an aha moment that you have because with this light here, it's almost like you're seeing the light. Now you're seeing things clearly. And I feel like with this initiate of pentacles, this is the queen of pentacles. So really, to me, this symbolizes the fact that you're you're going to be more practical, okay? But financial security is coming your way and just long-term security in general. So whether that, that be like in the mind or a home or something like that, I feel like things are getting back to, to where they need to be. Now, for some of you, you could have lost a home, right? But you're getting to a point where you're starting to see things clearly and you can see... Uh, uh, with a bit, with a better mind, you know, with better eyes. I don't know. It's like you're seeing clearly and that creates that abundance. It creates this new opportunity for you. And I have the Ace of Wands here. So this makes a lot of sense. The Ace of Wands is a new beginning, you know, and this one too, Ace of Cups is a new beginning. So there is a new beginning here for you. I feel like this has a lot to do with maybe you and a job or maybe you and a person. It doesn't matter, but there's something here that you're very passionate about. And this passion is driving you forward in such a way that is creating a very beautiful um, opportunity for you. So, because you're not going to stay stuck here. You're not going to stay stuck in this Five of Pentacles energy or the Five of Cups energy. You're going to come out of that because you know you're better than that. You know, you know, Cancer, you can be in your feelings. You can be emotional. But at the end of the day, you can pick yourself up and say, you know what? I got me. I got this. And I feel like this is you really taking charge, taking control of your life, you know, being, being a leader and, and really it's almost like you're pep talking yourself. And that's very beautiful because sometimes we just need to do it. If we feel like we just need to pep talk ourselves, that's exactly what we should do. And I feel like you just need to follow your intuition. You know, I see here with the third eye here being in flames. It's like, it's almost like saying like, cancer, listen to your intuition, whatever your intuition is telling you to do. That's exactly what you should do. Now we have the seven of pentacles crowning the ace of wands. So to me, this basically is saying work toward your goals. Okay. This seven to me is good luck. This seven to me is your hard work, your perseverance and your being diligent. Okay. So whatever you're passionate about, you're going for it and you're really putting a lot of work towards it. So very beautiful very good energy here now we have the uh oracle cards here and i feel like spirit is telling me to pick the uh, middle one first so let's read this one it says accept struggles as lessons so i feel like this this basic these cards i feel like are some s summing up what i've been trying to say throughout this reading because just by the title of it alone i feel like it's going to be a really good message for you so this one says when you acknowledge your relationship to spirit or source energy you will begin to understand your role in the bigger picture life on earth may seem difficult but once you accept the hardships that you encounter are merely set before you in order for you to learn and evolve then your journey here will become much easier the important thing is to perceive an obstacle as a tool for growth 
Choose to look at struggles as things that you have chosen to encounter so that you can learn to overcome them instead of as things done to you to make you miserable. The choice is yours. If life on earth was not problematic, then it wouldn't be such a compelling adventure for the courageous souls. It's imperative that you search for the meaning behind each struggle so you can comprehend the lesson and what is best what is the best way to proceed the way you handle these obstacles prepares you not only for you for how to handle them in the future but for what awaits you in the dimension of spirit the experience you have gathered from encountering struggles factors heavily into the decisions that you and your guides make regarding future incarnations. You are here to learn. Don't pass up the opportunity because it will only be placed before you again. Absolutely. Do not pass this opportunity. This Ace of Wands, I feel like this is definitely a new opportunity opening up for you. Communicating is going to be good for you. But these struggles that you have gone through, they're only lessons, okay? Or whatever you're, you're going through or will go through, they're all lessons because they're making you a stronger person in the end okay and we have express your feelings which i feel like has a lot to do with communicating saying how you feel say what happened you know things like that so this one says all your feelings are valid and should be honored you are experiencing these thoughts and emotions for a reason never let anyone judge your feelings as silly or inconsequential because they are obviously manifesting within you for a reason you have the right of self-expression and it is imperative on your road of self-enlightenment and awareness it is vital that you as a human being release and express all that is within you in a safe loving manner never judge or harm another by your actions that is your ego struggling to make itself known be kind and respectful yet speak your truth you should never keep a feeling thought or emotion bottled inside you are energy and energy flows when you create a stoppage by suppressing your valid emotions they are left to fester within you then you are not in harmony with and and you are creating a dis-ease to the natural flow of energy. Your thoughts and emotions should always come from a space of compassion. Always examine your feelings before sharing them. Are you coming from a place of love or a place of judgment? It is a fine art indeed to be able to express your feelings while at the same time bolstering the spirit of another. By bringing your truth out kindly, you are letting others know that you are being honest to yourself while being empathetic to them. Wow, very beautiful. And the last one, which is live your bliss, which I feel like it goes perfectly with the last card here that I was telling you to follow your passion. This one says the emotion of happiness is like a beacon calling you to follow its light. When you hold this card in your hand, think of saying, if it feels good, do it. The physical reactions that you have when you do something that makes you happy are like signposts from your guides pointing you in the right direction. Whether you are consciously aware of it or not, there are unique lessons to be learned by following your bliss. Think of the sensations of fulfillment and satisfaction as pearls that are strewn before your, before your soul's journey. They lead, in, they lead you in the right direction. Conversely, if something makes you fatigued or bored, that is also a sign that you have ventured onto a path that won't ultimately fill fulfill your soul's blueprint. Sorry, I can't even freaking read right now. <laughs> On earth, you will be compelled to various interests or desires. This is because you are coming closer to your soul's nature. Following your dreams is also about letting yourself express express your joy in doing so you are in alignment with your personal truth if this card appears often in your spread it may be time to examine your priorities many lessons that you have incarnated to learn deal with knowing yourself well enough to take chances to follow through on what your soul is telling you even though it may not seem rational or make sense absolutely even though it may not seem rational or make sense at the time it will 